If you're a subscriber to this channel, which I'm sure you are, you know that I love bringing really cool gadgets and tools to the channel. We have brought a lot of them, but there are some tools that are just out there that just blow my mind. I mean, they're super freaking crazy. And I was scouring the internet today and I found one and I, I just gotta bring it to you. So let me explain this a little bit. This tool that we're looking at today seems to have been out for a very long time, at least, you know, a decade. And I've never seen it before. And then I started seeing these posts for it. I'm like, this thing is mind blowing. Now, I have a feeling that some of you are probably going to love it. And I have a feeling that some of you are probably going to hate it. And that's why I wanna know either way in the comment section, what do you think about this tool that I'm gonna show you. But why don't we just get into it and I'm gonna tell you the name of it and we're gonna show you how this thing works. And again, I wanna hear your opinion on this because I think it's really cool. You might, you might not. Let's get it going. All right, a lot of us have our own methods of putting wood together, whether there's glue, you know, Craig Jig, a lot of dials. Festool has some really awesome tools that I wanna to get my hands on when it comes to wood joinery. A lot of people love mortise tenon. I do as well, but it's time consuming. Dials, I also really enjoy using dials, but this right here just sort of stood out to me. All right, so this is called the Invis MX2 90 degree butt joint. Now, if you have a CNC machine, that's great. But if not, well, you don't need it. They give you this jig right here. And I just want to let you know I have nothing to do with this company. They have no idea I exist probably. And guess what? It's not a sponsored video. I just seen this. I wanted to share it. But what's really cool is you put these little jigs together here. And now you got your insert where you're actually going to drill down in through. And now you put it right up to the corner here. Let me show you. It'll sit right where you want this thing to sit and it will not move on you. So when you go to drill, you're gonna get that perfect hole. Well, it looks like it anyway. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your stopper and you're gonna put that on the actual drill bit itself. You can see it stops right there. So you don't go through the material that you're trying to drill through and that is going to give you that perfect 90 degree drilled hole. All right, so they're gonna pull that out. That's real nice like. Okay, they're gonna move that and check this out. Now they got special types of screws that's what we're going to call them we're going to call them insert or screws and they go down in there like so right you're going to put those on all four corners or on your face anyway and what you're going to do is you're going to attach those with these special screws that they have and i'll show you that here in a second they're basically just filling out all four corners and now you're going to use that jig again and what you're going to do is you're going to drill those holes and that is where that special screw is going to go down for those inserts. And again, you can see that stopper right there, which is real nice. So it's it's basically like a dial jig, but when, when you see this, it's gonna blow your mind, I'm telling you. It's, it's gonna blow your freaking mind. Okay, so now you're putting the shelf together, whatever, that's your, your side piece, all right? They got that jig set up. You get the idea, we're gonna move it along. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that special attachment, that screw, and you're gonna bring that down into the hole. So that would be the side or the top of your woodworking project, and you're gonna bring that down in. You can see how that screws in like that, right? But you can also see how those are attached. You got those little nubs sticking out right there. Well, check this out. You're gonna bring this down. You're gonna put those in the attachments. Like I showed you, they drilled out, and oh, what is that? Do you see what they're doing there, people? Do you understand what's happening right now? Tell me what is happening right now. Let me show you this again right? What it, What is going on there? I'm going to explain this to you. Check this out. Look at it. Look at it. That is the coolest thing. And basically what happens, well, look, look, put the top on, put that top on. Yeah. Show me that good stuff. Look at this. That is not an impact, my friend. He got that on a drill and you got those seamless ends right there. Look, no jig holes, no Craig jig holes, no pocket holes that you got to fill in. That's a magnet in there. Let me show you how this thing works. It is freaking crazy cool. So basically this thing lays flat on your wood. That entire piece, that cube does not turn, but what happens is the magnet on the inside turns. And if you've got your drill, if you have your drill going forward, then it tightens those screws into that piece. And then if you want to, if you want to unscrew it or loosen it up, maybe you have to make an adjustment or whatever, you just throw the drill in reverse and it opens it up again, which is freaking insane. And again, that entire cube does not turn, just a magnet on the inside that rotates, so no marring on the surface. That is the picture of your attachments right there and your special screw that you would have to buy separately with these. Now, I think some of them come in the kit, but you'll also have to buy more. If you're doing a lot of woodworking, you know, you're gonna have to buy more of these. Now, another really cool thing I noticed about this, and you can see all the different parts that this comes with, but even if you wanted to do some railing, right? 
if you wanted to attach two pieces of railing you could do that as well you could put those jigs in and you can put those markers in and it'll basically keep that thing put it's not going to move on you which i find really cool i really like that system a lot actually but again you just put your attachment on there and say you want to attach that railing all right so go ahead put your stop on you're just going to drill right down through the middle maybe you want two holes for the extra security and you could always put glue on this thing or on the end of it to give that extra secure tightened fastened whatever but now i'm going to put two of those holes in there you can even use loctite on that which i was thinking that would be a good idea but check this out now i'm going to put you know my attachment in there or my insert in there where that that special screw is going to go you put one in and then if you wanted to you could put a dial in just for you know added security and again you can glue that it's not going to go anywhere and now once you get that in there you just tighten the damn thing down grab your other piece you know put your screw in there put your attachment in there and now you just put the two damn things together like that. And again, you could put glue on there and use this magnet right here and tighten that down. And it ain't going nowhere. That's really, really freaking awesome, man. And it's seamless. You can fix those joints up a little bit, you know. And, and wow, that is just really cool. Now, as cool as that was, there is a downside to this thing. I'm going to let you know this thing is not cheap. You're looking at $525 for the starter kit and you get a few of your attachment pieces you got the jig which looks like you only get one you do got the screw or the drill bit here you know screws over here and the magnetic piece with the holder but for 525 and then say you want to buy just 20 of the damn you know fasteners you're looking at 140 dollars for just 20 of them which i feel are a little bit ridiculous and that is a major downside to this product and if i want to buy all three together right so uh, i want to buy a couple of these i want to buy a couple of these you know 20 20 and then the kit you're looking at 837 dollars you know american dollars on amazon where i can buy that festool domino jig and it would be uh, maybe a couple hundred dollars more and you, you know you wouldn't spend that much on the dominoes where this is a bit crazy but on all that said it is a really cool tool and that is why i wanted to show this to you i've never seen anything like it before and some people might love this thing some people are probably going to hate it just because of the price and how much everything costs. But either way, I want to know what you think. I, I just think it's a really cool tool. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and uh, tell me, you know, do you like it? Do you not like it? Would you use it? Would you not use it? You know, love hearing your feedback. If you could smash that like button, <laughs> that would also be greatly appreciated. I always appreciate you stopping by. And with that, we're going to be back with more videos soon.